Hello everyone! I'm in a particularly cottagey, cozy, small life mood right now, so I decided to go to Windenburg and build a tiny home dream. And in the background you can actually see the ruins I built and the ruins the devs built. So this is a very charming place for a little home. And I want this to actually be a tiny home as well. I want there to be foxes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get it to tiny home or small home. Either way I want this to feel sweet and cozy. I wonder if I can have a little bit of rooftop space. And that's part of why I think I should go with a small home, not a tiny home. Because that gives me more room to work with. But let's just see. Mostly I just want cute shapes. Cute little shapes. Like just this little tiny space. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute. I want this to be a little extended forward. Let me move this to the side and see. I mean, oh, yeah, wait, the road is here, so that makes more sense. I feel like um, rounding corners can often help to give a little bit of interest to an otherwise very boring shape. Yeah, no. Uh, it did the thing I was worried it would do. It always does that. This is a good trick, by the way. <laughs> Just draw another piece of this. You just can't do this very well with a platform, but eh, who cares. This I was initially thinking to be in the front, but now I don't think so anymore. So now let's see, windows and doors. I'm gonna go about this from the outside first, because I want this to be cute. And I cannot be tamed by logic or reason. I don't necessarily know, by the way, if the white color or something like that will stay or if I'm gonna go in an entirely different direction. I just kind of picked it as a blank slate because I don't yet know what I want. I think I want a bump out. Or maybe, oh, I forgot this one. This could be the one. And now it could be the point where we decide colors. I do like the green. Maybe we do go with the white highlights. Hold on. <laughs> Floor plan. Did that help me <laughs> at all? I, n I need to place a bed because I don't know what I'm doing with this later. What do I want of this room? What if God was one of us? Just a stranger on the bus? Whoa! <laughs> Losing control ever so slightly. So my problem right now is I could place a kitchen here and then doors here and then living here but it's a very poor layout. Like I did that very badly. Maybe we do it differently. We are now in small home territory. I said that could happen. I wasn't lying, but now we have a little bit more space. Did that help at all? I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Hopefully. <laughs> right now I'm just making it more boring, honestly. <laughs> I'm not getting there. <laughs> have a little gap in between these things because you want this to look better from the top you can sometimes just fill it in with an exterior trim and the little gap is gone i feel like i need to bump this one out one more yeah it was it, it wasn't shapely enough <laughs> the house is growing you guys i can't make it much larger i really want this to be small Maybe a little bump out here, but I don't like this section off from the outside. I'll, I'll do the bump out. Okay, now I'm back to windows. <laughs> I have decided on a layout I can't have windows now. <laughs> well, frankly, I start with the door to the outside. Or do I like this one? Can't decide. 
I'm gonna pick the front door first and then see what fits. I decided it's gonna be the red door. Just for pop of color. I'm gonna stay with this door, I think. And I want the um, the funny windows from Cottage Living. Maybe this is gonna be limited packs. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be limited packs, but so far I think I've stayed very much within, okay, three packs. <laughs> nah, maybe it's not gonna be limited. Yeah, okay, I'm introducing yet another pack. I'm very, very sorry. But also, this is perfect. <laughs> Let's be real, the second I said this is gonna be limited pack, I just cursed this to not be. Oh, I love it already, honestly. It's so cute. Just imagine it covered in plants and everything. Oh my god. Oh, da, da, da. So satisfying. These. Yet another pack, by the way. <laughs> I just want to say formally now, Let's just bury the idea of limited pack. Okay. Just so I don't forget, because I really truly want that. I'm gonna give this a wooden ceiling first. I think that's better. Also, I know that some of my windows are beige and some are white. But we're going to call it off-white and we're gonna call that charming, okay? I think I'm gonna go with a very loud flower wallpaper for the entire space here. Except for maybe the kitchen. I just gotta see if I find tiles that I like. Just because it um, helps with the red door. <laughs> it's the literal only red thing. Maybe just white actually. It's getting a bit loud. I think I wanna start with the kitchen too. This has the red. I forgot to speak for the entire kitchen build so far. <laughs> I want a very small shelf for here, but they're all giant. I wanted this to extend a little and I damn well wanted to use this one. And it may, it, it just kind of makes this area look weird. Maybe like this. Instantly better. The reason I wanted this corner shelf because it's it's mirroring this half tile here with its design and it's more open. Ho ho ho! Oh yes! Oh my! Yes! Okay, okay, I have to place this now. I cannot forget. I cannot forget. It's so perfect for this house. Oh yeah, the gold. I'm just gonna use this. We need more trash cans. I'm never happy with the trash cans. I'm gonna give this place pets. I think it should be a dog. Can I fit cats? I think cats are more the vibe. Uh -huh. Well, we'll see. Kind of also want a fireplace. Didn't leave myself a lot of options to place a fireplace. Maybe just like in the room. We don't need much space for a table because I do not want this to be a guest focused space. And actually, the fireplace right next to the dining space makes some sort of sense. I'm not mad about it. I may have used this pattern, but I wonder. Because it's a lot of red in here and I don't want to be totally on theme. I feel like if things are too samey-samey, too branded, it gets really boring. Yeah, the window is high enough so that the TV doesn't disrupt anything. I don't normally like putting a couch in the middle though. I still don't like it now. <laughs> that is problematic. Now the window looks too high up. Controversial idea, maybe we don't need a television. <laughs> I know it's really annoying in The Sims not to have a television because that's basically half the entertainment Sims can get. <laughs> 
but it's annoying me. I'm jumping back to the other side of this room, back to the kitchen for a little bit, because I am unhappy with everything about the living room section. So back to the kitchen for a little bit. I thought maybe I introduce some green so that it's not all red. Coffee doesn't fit the vibe, but tea does. And waffles. More cute things for the wall. Okay. How about this? Is this a better thing? I, I, honestly, the only th thing I care about is that I want to place this. No, it's not the only thing I care about, but it's a big chunk of the things I care about. <laughs> Should I put the suitcase record player on top of the suitcases? <laughs> I think it's a bit stupid. I just want to be allowed to place it on normal furniture. Mm. I really don't like that. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna find something. I'm, I'm figuring this out. No. Definitely need a bookshelf. Especially since I did not add a television. <laughs> I still also want to use the bookshelves. Yeah, not the bookshelves, but the bookshelves. <laughs> or maybe like this. <sighs> Sorry, those were weird mouth sounds. Or maybe I take a normal shelf and put books in it. This red one, maybe. I think white is better. There we go. If The Sims doesn't want to give me a bookshelf. I'm gonna make myself a bookshelf. <laughs> you can't stop me. You're not my mom. Don't know if I want them green or red. Probably red, actually. Yep, yeah. red immediately. <laughs> immediately red. Look, we have a bookshelf and one I don't hate, and it's it's coming together. It now no longer looks like it actually needs a television and I just didn't give them one. Maybe I don't have that chair there. We still have pets. <laughs> and I could either use it for a cat tree thingy, a small one at least. Or for a dog bed. Cats love to look out windows. So far we have reading and music for recreation. I think that's plenty. Now I'm gonna add a computer and some skill building. Just not there. Some more red and pink accents could only help. When I do it like this, I think the chair really doesn't work there anymore. This needs something or everything. <laughs> Oh, the floor is actually great with the window, but it doesn't necessarily match the wall 100%. But it matches this one. This one's even better. Hmm, bathtub and shower. 
I think I just take a combo actually. to the bedroom get rid of that thing I think I stick with that color it's kind of the base color of that one but without all the chaos pattern because we have enough pattern going on and maybe I find a bed with a funny little pattern I think I stick with this one Maybe for some color, actually a bit of the dark green. I feel like we can't get too white. So base furniture basically is everywhere now. I'm really judging the place up now. Starting with the most bare room, the bedroom. I really want this to be utterly cozy. Utterly, utterly cozy. This has a curtain. Okay, we'd usually put it up the other way around, but that way it serves as a curtain for the window. As I said, I wanted this place to be cozy. And part of that is that it has to be a little bit dingy. Not everything has can be very put together. Because if it's very put together, then it's very staged and that is entirely not cozy. What I mean by that is that part of being cozy is having something with substance that is there to stay. Coziness comes from the security of knowing that what you have is gonna last, where you are is safe. And if something is completely new, completely made up, and it has no history, and it hasn't been with you for years, that's less secure and it's less cozy. So if you want to make something really cozy, have there be items that don't quite match that almost match, but then not. It really helps make things more cozy, just because um, it feels like it has been collected over quite some years. So in this bedroom, for example, um, the lampshade is pink. It doesn't really match the color scheme of this bedroom, but I don't care because probably this lamp has been with this person for longer than the bed sheets. And that's cute. And something is missing here and here. Some slight chaos, some note of someone living there. Alternatively, I could also scoot this over to the side and then have a pet bed to the side. Either that, cute option number one, or that. No, probably that. I like this. I think I like the look of just the pet bed more, but I like that this tells the story more. Like the cat is in the upper catio part of this and can look out to the desk when the owner is here and working, sleep downstairs, can sit on the very top and look out the window. It makes sense. It tells the story far better than just a mere little stupid bed. I need some general stuff to throw around. A little bit of clutter has never hurt nobody. I would like to place a mirror somewhere. Maybe I should get rid of this. We can have the fishies here for the cat. <laughs> oh, that's a, somewhat cute. I like that. This is good. And by also now using the glamour pack, fully fully drop the limited pack idea. Maybe one of my next builds can be more limited in packs. Maybe. I'm not promising anything. We know how that goes. Hairy lights, hairy lights. I want the, the little cute animals having a tea party. Maybe I want that here. It, and then this here. Hold on. I like it. It's cute. 
I need more light here. It's very dark, but I want it to be somewhat subtle. Just one thing. Don't mix and match lighting. Warm lights only. I want this to be higher. Less of the window cover, more of the wall. This makes it feel a little bit better to me because I was really unhappy with this border. And this makes it make more sense. I'll leave these two counters empty, I think, definitely. Just so um, the Sims can actually cook. But I think I will utilize this wall a little bit more. Just a little farmhouse decor, I think. Again, I want this to be a bit more cluttered. I kind of like the idea of having this be part of the um, oven. The old-timey oven. As decor. It gives a little bit more personality. Yeah, it's coming together. It's really coming together. I don't think I want to have a picture here. Or maybe the small one. But not a big one. Now that's empty though. Maybe to the side. To the side is cute. Oh, I've had that here. I forgot. And then we put this away. <laughs> I think for the inside... All that's missing is a little bit of dish in the bathroom, but also not too much in the bathroom. I'm gonna go back to the OG. The bathroom decor OG. Hello, old friend. And maybe a newer edition. Rosebud toilet paper. <laughs> Okay, now for the most important part of this house, the outside. <laughs> because I really, I truly built this for the outside, I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe um, a bench of some sort. I'm just gonna hope that whoever likes this aesthetic has all the... has <laughs> just all the packs <laughs> that, that kind of go with it. These lamps are so cute on this. And I also want to really use these kinds of bushes because it um, blends it with the environment a little. It's a little different, but um, similar enough. Just on the one side, I want just on the. I want there to be a little bit of a pathway to still go to this lake, and of course. I don't know if I want a path or if I just want to continue the dirt. Like what? How do I get that? Close enough, I guess. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go into the debug catalog. Even though it has the cute colors. Just a bit more shapely. Uh, what do I want here? I, I mean, it does look like it would lend itself quite nicely for some garden patches. But I also would... Maybe like a greenhouse, come to think of it. Maybe a very small one. Could there be greenhouses with windows not all the way to the top? <laughs> I'm just um, improvising and hope it doesn't look too bad when I'm done. Okay, now that looks like a greenhouse. <laughs> and we can just use the same floors, can't we? Oh, that's so pretty. Dark wood is cool. Just a bunch of gardening equipment. Scattered about in a way a little she says and places all of the things and we also need a trash can by the way I don't know where to place it so it doesn't look shit Maybe next to the greenhouse so it looks like compost This is my compost makes sense Definitely want um, outside dining. I want to keep with a romantic atmosphere of it. Oh, right. We need a uh, firewood Oh, and I like. I like it a lot. That's kind of cute. I do obviously want the rabbits and I do obviously want the birds too. Obviously. I am contemplating chickens. I think chickens would be awesome. I just don't know where I would want chicken. Like on the one hand, this could be fairly cute for chickens. It's also fairly cute for the outdoor gardening, though. It feels very cramped in there. Is it better if I place it at an angle? If in doubt, at angles. <laughs> Always my motto. 
Is it a little cruel to have the chickens here and then a fox looming behind them? My bad chickens. It's also... I, I can't promise you that no fox is gonna come to you because I literally made this a fox lot, so... Again, I'm very sorry. If we don't have a colorful coop, it looks like a tiny version of the main house, which I personally consider to be adorable. So I'm gonna do that. And then this can just contain like chicken, chicken stuff. I don't, it, whatever you need for the chickens, you can keep in there. Chicken things. And if I have this here, maybe I want patchy. Is patchy cute as part of the decor here? You know, it's it's getting somewhere. We also still have the rooftop thing. That first and foremost needs some proper flooring. Could also use this one similar to the ground floor. Maybe I'll do. I kind of like uh, the werewolf fence. Yeah, I want that. And I think what I want to put up there is the telescope. Because this looks like a prime spot for seeing a lot of stars. I also want a bike. This feels like a biking neighborhood. You're not taking a car if you live here. You're taking a bike. And it comes in red. So do I want this picnic basket or the round one? I think the round one. Am I missing something vital? I don't think I am. One thing I really wanted to add is also an easel because if I was to live there, I would paint. <laughs> so now I'm gonna add more vegetation and then um, I'm gonna do some landscaping and maybe decorating of the house or not maybe decorating of the house, definitely also decorating of the house, the outside of the house. And I see you when I'm done. And here we are at our cozy, cute cottage in between some ruins and waterfalls where you can watch the foxes, the rabbits, the ducks and the fishies with enough room for just you and your cat. The front of the building is designed to blend well with the environment. I try to make it so that you don't immediately notice where the environment ends and your lot starts. It has a cute, aesthetic, colorful, whimsical, including a bike. It has a little overhang here with a bench. And then you come into the very small entryway just has your basic, nothing special, a place to put down your keys, a place to check your outfit and the door to the bathroom. The bathroom is fully equipped and has um, everything you need for day-to-day -day life, storage and even a bathtub shower combo. It also has this cute fox window for some privacy but still sunlight. 
it has an open floor plan with the living room section looking like this taking a little bit of the outside inside a small bookshelf and a way to listen to music you can sit with your cat this is the way to the outside and this is where you eat and sit by the fire this is the kitchen quite spacious for such a small space oh i need to fix that <laughs> don't mind that um you can look outside while doing the dishes which is um, pretty perfect because doing the dishes is super boring this is the bedroom and also the office or let's say the place where the computer is i don't think this cottage needs an office it's small it's also got a place for the cat to hang out and other than that only the necessities now being outside this is where you would actually entertain your guests and you can go upstairs here you can climb this and then you have the deck where you can observe the stars at night or just the clouds during daytime there is a gardening patch here with patchy and you can paint pictures there is also this greenhouse right here and inside the greenhouse uh, we have a bunch of stuff and six planter spaces together with the patches outside i think that's plenty of room for you to garden we have the birds and the rabbits living here and this is where the chicken coop lives so the chickens get their own little space right here plenty of room for them to explore but obviously they can also just enter the rest of the garden and yeah that's basically it it's a small space but a cute and cozy one and i hope you enjoyed the little build if you do want to live in this build or your sims to live in this build at the very least you can download it from my gallery and other than that, I see you in the next one. Goodbye!